All right, this is session recap for the 26th day of March. This morning we were watching as the dollar index uh, is in a down channel, it came up to the top. So the question is, are you gonna break out north or are you gonna respect this channel and go down? How do we tell that? Well, I got a chart for that and it's the dollar index with all the candles on it. So what does it tell me? All right, it says, we're trying to go up, we're trying to go up, we're closing up to go up, we're trying 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 to go up, all right? Guess what? They're trying to go up. That means this is a bull flag, all right? So preponderance of evidence says they're trying to go up, all right? So now we had it down all, not all day because we were originally going to the downside here in this channel. So it hadn't proven they're breaking out, but they're, gonna, they're telling you we are gonna break this out to the upside, all right? Now, that'll change everything. Now, this move to the upside will drive that pound yen to the downside. That'll help drive it down. So if they break out here to the upside on the dollar, watch for this to scream to the downside, all right? Or at least meander quickly, all right? So over to the Euro, can't trade it, uh, but it's coming down. Our target is down here at uh, 1803, all right? So let me get rid of that. 1803, can't trade it because you don't have enough uh, room. Uh, pound dollar, uh, we missed the top up here. Trade two is down here. Our target is 25.92 down there. And there's about 35 more pips left in this trade. Yeah, up here, that would have been a nice little trade if we could have got out. Well, we just didn't get quite up there to 55 pips. All right, over to dollar yen. All right, dollar yen, real estate of the week trade. All right, now if the dollar goes up, this will not happen mostly because right now they're following the dollar index. They weren't for three or four months, but now they are. All right, so we're going to be very cautious. I mean, the structure is down. You're making lower highs, as you can see. Put this line on here and you can see it pretty quickly. Making lower highs. All right, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Okay, so we're looking for down for the structure, but dollar says we're going up, so you may have a move up here to the day chart top, which will be a triple top then. Wow. All right, so uh, watch for the sell, not the buy, unless the dollar just keeps screaming up. All right, all right. Yo Yen, we had it up this morning, and we, we did the pound yen, we said this is wrong. I'm just going to flip this. This is going to be the real tra target. It's going to be in the area, though, 124. Probably coming down here to 162.97. Watch for that in the Asian market right down in here. All right. Over to pound yen. We're in this trade live this morning, making the turn. Dollar goes up. That's going to be sweet for us right there. Our target is all the way down here at 130.26. So pretty big size trade right there, as you can see. And we're in it, and you got to hold for this. Uh, I'd hold for 190 down there. All right, there we go. All right, so nice opportunity on pound yen, and we're in it already. All right, and over to uh, the exotics, Aussie yen. All right, and Aussie yen's making the turn down. We know the GJ is going down, the EJ is going down. All right, so we'll flip this to the downside. And well, actually, let me get see how big it is 78 pip ATR. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this to the upside. Looks like they're not going to get that square up. 78 pips to the downside, and target is down here at 96.44. Pretty good. And it'll probably stop there because you got a double bottom there. Normally, you'd want to hold for this next target. And you still want to hold. You want to move your target, your stop there in case they do break, but you don't expect it to because of that bottom right there. So this ends up being a bear flag. So it should be pretty easy to see that. All right. So this is a bear flag for the continuation. That's how you came in. That's how you're coming out. So big opportunity coming out on the Aussie yen. Right? So be aware Aussie yen is on the board for a pretty good sell. You can sell it 23 hours a day. Right? Don't, don't trade anything into Frankfurt. All right? Euro Aussie showing signs it's going to go up. That makes sense that the dollar breaks up. Our target is up here at 66.50 right there. So there you go. You'll get a bigger ATR tonight after five o'clock. You're probably coming up to this double top tonight, right? If, if it follows that up. Swiss yen should be trying to go down. It is. It's our real estate of the week trade, one of them. And we're looking at uh, 665 pips to the downside. We got trade one on. Hold it to here. Swiss yen down to there. All right. Pound Aussie, all right, stuck inside a, pen, a symmetrical triangle. Once we get the breakout, we're looking to come down here to 
92.44, big, nice little opportunity right there if we get a breakout, All right? So there we go. Uh, you're in New Zealand, and uh, you're in New Zealand is structured for the down move, but with dollar going up, this may just continue on up. So I'd stay out of this for now. We do have the target down here at 79.74, but I'd be very, very leery of it at this point with dollar flipping up. We do have a rising wedge potential here. All right, let me get rid of this for now just to make it through. So there's a high probability that's a rising wedge to the downside, right? But we don't know that yet. Let me clone this line, drag it down to the bottom right there, change it to one and dash. All right, so there we go. I already had it on there. I'll get rid of that one. All right, there we go. All right, so this could come down here with an A, B, C and watch for the bounce up there. All right. In the meantime, you got a trade down here to there with MACD going down. You got a trade here, but when you get here, you got to be careful because that's the bounce point for the up move uh, if they want to go. If they break here, all bets are off to the upside. You're, you're officially a seller. All right. Pound New Zealand. All right. We uh, got a pullback right now uh, to the 382. And if we get above that 382, we're looking for the trade down. Now you can see they are respecting this this channel here. That so this may not be a rising wedge. All right. Now with dollar going up, pound New Zealand goes half the time with the dollar, half the time it goes against it. All right. MACD says we're you're officially a seller. So you're looking for the sell to the downside, down to really hold it for 209.50 area down there, even lower 209.40 right down here. We have a double bo the bottom. All right, New Zealand yen, all right, we're looking for uh, it to uh, bounce and go up. And uh, we'll see if it does that. MACD tells you you're a buyer. We're looking for 91.48 up there. And there we go. And we can trade pound Swissy, but it's already happened to the PIP, to its ATR, done, over. So there you go. Right, hard to trade pound Swissy. It's only got a 57 PIP ATR. So 